over at the girls' high jump championship. There's 10 competitors left. The bar is at five feet, seven inches. Kendall Williams with the clearance there at that five feet, seven inch height. And on the track right now, it's Western Branch of Virginia wearing hip one, Riverside Runners of New York, hip two, Capital Prep of Connecticut, hip three, Herndon of Virginia, hip four, Downingtown West of Pennsylvania, five, Atlee of Virginia, six, Midwood of New York, seven, Chelmsford, Massachusetts, eight, Monsignor Farrell, Staten Island, New York, nine, Stuyvesant of New York, 10, Melville Elite of New York, 11, Curtis, New York boys, 12, Osborne Park, Virginia, Hip number 13, this is section one of three, boys distance medley, six laps, 1,200 meters on our leadoff leg. Getting you caught up on what's going on over at the boys triple jump for Emerging Elite. The third of three flights has just gotten underway. The current leader is Evandro da Costa out of Randolph, Massachusetts with a jump of 45 feet, seven and one quarter inches. As of right now, the cutoff for the top eight to make the finals sits unofficially at 1324, which is 43 feet, five inches. The meet record is Riverside Runners and Capital Preparatory battling out in front. Now joined by Monsignor Farrell. Monsignor Farrell challenging now into second. Continues to be Riverside Runners. Monsignor Farrell and Capital Preparatory. Top six teams from that girls DMR need to report over to the awards area near turn number two. Top six teams, girls distance medley to the awards area near turn number two. Curtis, New York, takes the lead. 313-4 on that leadoff leg. Riverside Runners. Been a seesaw battle here in the early going. Riverside Runners back to the lead. Fifty-one eight for their anchor leg. Curtis continues on in second. Eight hundred meters, four laps on this third leg. Curtis and Riverside Runners.
J.P. Meredith. For Riverside Runners, Muhammad Ba of Curtis. J.P. Meredith, Riverside Runners, continues to push. Riverside Runners, two flat point six. Marco Pompeos on the anchor for them. Ronaldo Ball on the anchor for Curtis in second. No one else in the same vicinity at the moment. But it's a long eight laps. Riverside Runners and Curtis. Again, top six teams from that girls. Distance medley relay to the awards area by turn number two. We'll have your awards ceremony soon. We will have a ceremony for every championship event. These two have battled back and forth throughout. It's Riverside Runners and Curtis. Stuyvesant and Capital Prep running third and fourth. They're at about 207. Halfway through their anchor leg. It's shaping up to be a good one, folks. Capital Preparatory of Connecticut now into third. Riverside Runners and Curtis. They've been running strong and steady. The pack closing on them slightly, but it's really still a two-team race at this point. Marco Pompeos, Riverside Runners, Ronaldo Ball of Curtis. Jack Stevenson of Stuyvesant trying to make it a three-team race. The Riverside Runners at the bell. Remember, this is the first of three time sections.
Relentless in his pace. Marco Pompield. Riverside Runners captures section one for 21-5 on his anchor leg.